Hello family, God bless you all in Jesus name. I want to release this uh, prophetic word and I want to pray very quickly before we begin. Father God in Jesus name, I'm welcoming your presence even right now. I'm asking that you will come and just breathe upon this word. Help me to speak the right words. Let this prophetic word, Lord, be a blessing to somebody, Lord. Speak through me, Lord Holy Spirit, even in this hour in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Shalom, peace, love, and blessings to you all. There is um, something about July 11th that keeps coming back to me. And it's not just about July 11th. It's just the number 11 as well. The Lord uses numbers to speak to me, a Lord to direct me, and just give me an understanding of uh the next phase or the next chapter or the season we're coming into and just um just kind of just little give me understanding of what's about to happen next right so um uh 11 the number 11 is a number that the lord has been showing me recently a lot uh when i said a lot recently i've been in like the last one week or so so i'm led to come here even right now and just release this prophetic word for july 11th and also this is not going to be for everybody uh, what i prophesy in this word will not be for everybody um so if you feel like this word is for you or it resonates with you take it to the lord pray about july 11th okay um even right now i i, I just heard the word judgment um there is judgment coming and there are rewards coming as well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, also, I want to just say this very quickly. Uh, do not be surprised if you're hearing about more deaths that are happening, like much more than usual. Um, this is just how like the Lord is just doing, you know, exactly what he needs to do in this hour there are some old things that are going to be passing away that there's, there's just going to be a lot of old that will be coming to an end and the new will just begin to rise um the lord is going to just put some things to death in your life and he's going to cause the new thing to begin as well okay there are some people that will have to leave um so that you're going to be able to move forward as well okay so that should not put fear in your heart that should just uh cause you to be, to take your relationship with the lord much more seriously get stronger in your connection your commitment with the lord in this season be more prayerful um yeah so i want to just decree and declare this word over you i've got a few scriptures i want to go through them um yeah and i pray it blesses you in jesus mighty name so uh july 11 okay there's an emphasis upon july 11th praise the lord um, also, before I continue, I just want to uh, say this. There's a lot of people that come attacking me and bashing me um, and speaking negatively about this ministry and some of the prophetic words that I've released. Uh, for example, when I, when I released the word about May 24th and 25th, uh, there was, it, was, it was a specific uh, prophecy about the Lord coming through for his people. Uh, all the testimonies are there under the video. I posted some on the community page. I even came live and uh, read a lot of them. We spent one hour, 25 minutes uh, reading testimonies. But there's people that, that still come and start saying, you have released so many prophecies and I can't see any of them coming to pass. You need to, I mean, understand that everybody, everybody's life and, you know, life is different and everybody isn't different seasons right where i am now may not be where exactly somebody else that is a believer in christ would be everybody cannot have their cars at the same time everybody cannot have their moments at the same time but if you're persistent with the lord you're committed and you keep living righteously you're holding nothing in your heart against anybody the lord will bring you to a time that is yours okay but when you have that kind of uh spirit that wants to bash people keep offense and just you know it, it just doesn't help okay and if you're not part of the ministry and you don't follow me i mean don't 
don't follow me follow jesus um what i'm saying is, is is like if you're not really a part of the ministry you know you don't join our live streams you don't listen to prophetic words you don't join our fasting and prayers you can't really get to know what's really happening because i'm always updating you people and letting you know this what's going on so whenever i release these uh, these are specific prophecies um the lord always comes true right somebody always comes back to testify hey this is what happened and those of you who follow, who follow the ministry know exactly what i'm saying these testimonies have come true and i keep sharing them now with that being said i want to prophesy over somebody's july 11th do i know exactly what's going to happen on july 11th no i don't so i'm not coming here to tell you oh this is going to happen on july 11th i'm coming here by the leading of the holy spirit and, and, and with you knowing that I can only prophesy in parts as well, okay? And I can only come here to encourage your faith with the word of God as well. Praise the Lord. So let's go. Get ready because some of you, the Lord will actually shock you in this month of July. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want to go firstly into 2 Corinthians 7, 11. Praise the Lord. And that just says, For observe this very thing that you sorrowed in a godly manner, what diligence it produced in you what clearing of yourselves what indignation what fear what vehement desire what zeal what vindication in all things you proved yourself to be clear in this matter i want to just prophesy to people that have suffered you have been suffering going through sorrow pain because of your illness that hasn't left uh, because of a family member of, of what they're going through just whatever it is right the lord is giving you an all clear in this season basically the lord is about to just make a way for you okay the lord is giving you an all clear the lord is opening opening a door for you where you're just going to be able to see yourself just come out finally of where you are that hasn't helped in any way and just bring you out god is giving you an all clear he's opening clearing the way opening the door making a way for you in this season in jesus mighty holy name praise the lord and i pray for somebody that it will actually be on that 11th of july in jesus mighty holy name amen so the lord is giving you an all clear okay god is going god is going to be giving somebody an all clear all clear all clear in this season okay uh the lord is going to be uh vindicating you just bringing you out and just just making a way for you like he made the way for peter from that prison by 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 that angelic intervention hallelujah somebody amen praise the lord so um we know that you know paul was speaking to the to the to the church of corinthians right to the, to the people amen so he was just telling them you know that you know in, in in all of what they went through um you know they still you know maintain the their um, their um their uh, worship unto god their commitment unto the lord praise the lord and you know they still had zeal you know for serving god and all of that and there's still so many of us like that even even right now and the lord is 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 saying you know um that that he's vindicating you and that he's making the way for you just like paul was saying to the Corinthians, praise the lord that they cleared themselves in this matter amen john 19 30 says when jesus had received the sour wine he said it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up gave up his spirit i'm declaring to somebody right now that your past that your old season your pains and your sorrows and your worries it is finished in jesus name i'm praying for you that just as the lord has said it is finished indeed that in this month of july in this seventh month of perfection the lord will truly begin to perfect some areas of your life that are still loose and just cause the, the negativities to be finished in jesus mighty name praise the lord hallelujah malachi 1 11 Malachi 1 11. I've been seeing 11 a lot. So when I saw the scriptures, they just jumped at me. My name will be great among the nations. From where the sun rises to where it sets, in every place, incense and pure offerings will be brought to me. 
because my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord. May the Lord make his name great in your midst, in your life, in this month of July, in Jesus' mighty holy name. Joshua 11 from verse 10 to 11 says, At that time Joshua turned back and captured Hazor and put its king to the sword. Hazor had been the head of all of these kingdoms. Everyone in it they put to the sword. They totally destroyed them, not sparing any one that breathed and he burned Hazel himself. So this is just speaking about all these different kingdoms that came after Joshua and the people of Israel and the Lord in verse 11 caused the people of Israel to have victory over all of these kingdoms and you know Hazel whereas was actually head of one of them as well. So the Lord gave victory to Joshua and the people of Israel, and they defeated all of these other forces and these other kingdoms that came after the people of Israel. I don't know what, what it is that has you know pursued you or come after you all these years, all this while, what has been in your life, what has been attacking you physically, spiritually, financially. The Lord is about to cause you to defeat that thing that has been trying to defeat you, give you the victory over that thing in jesus mighty holy name praise god thank you lord holy spirit first peter 5 10 to 11 says and the god of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in christ jesus after you have suffered a while your a while of suffering has come to an end it says after you have suffered a while it says he himself will restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast to him to him be the power forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. So this is just what I want to say right now. God is clearing your path. God is making your path straight. The Lord is going to cause his lamp to be the light of your uh, path and just 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 guide you in this season okay god is with you the lord is with you and the god of the 11th hour just when you feel like can 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 things get any any worse the lord is about to show up when you actually least expected him to show up he's about to just shock you he's about to surprise you this is for somebody this is not going to be for everybody but i can tell you right now child of god you're in that season where you see the lord begin to touch your marriage touch your spouse begin to change some things about your spouse about that situation that you don't like my god God is saying to you, enter into my rest in this season. Enter into my rest, my child, in this season and allow me to take over. When the Lord steps in and take over, the way he stepped in and took over the situation at the Red Sea, that was the hand of God. That was the hand of God. Amen. When God steps in and takes over, miracles happen, signs happen, victories come upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you need to just uh, enter into the rest of God in this season and say, Lord, you know what? I surrender this to you. My health, my children, my marriage, everything. And the peace the, that the Lord would just put inside of your heart and your spirit is nothing compared to anything. And you're going to begin to see the Lord just give you victory over, over your enemies. Place a table before you in the presence of your enemies. You'll feel like you're floating on the air. God will be walking. God, will, God, God is fighting battles for his people even right now battles that you never ever knew exist like existed okay the lord has given you victory in so many ways stay away from sin um let you know allow the holy spirit to help you you know i'm um, draw near onto the lord stay committed to jesus in this hour remain prayerful uh, especially at night time between the hours of two and three you know as we're fasting join us to fast we're still on this 30 day fast even if you feel like you've fallen get yourself back up six to one six to one every day until the 23rd of july amen keep going okay it may not even be that you, that you have to wait until the 11th of july for somebody god can come through for you before the 11th of july i'm just bringing this word to you because i just keep on seeing number 11 and the lord is giving a sign that just when you thought you weren't gonna get anything just when you thought i wasn't gonna come through for you listen i will show up in your life i've showed up many times before in the life of those that trusted me and had faith in me and i and, and i'm about to do the same thing again if you can believe in me and have faith in me and not get angry at me for nothing okay i see what you're going through i see your pain i see your tears i see the shame i see the attacks i see your sleepless night okay i see your broken marriage i see you way beyond 
you know, what she can ever imagine, okay, or, or way beyond what anyone else can, you know, see in you. I see you more than you see yourself, okay? So the Lord is saying, trust in me. Trust in me and allow me to make a way for you. Allow me to open that door for you. I'm the one who opens and no one can shut. I'm the one who shuts and no one can open. I see your strength is small, but you're coming into a season where I raise you up and where you will shine, where you will go into what I'm sending you into to do and to become what I've called you to for my glory. It's not over until I say it's over. Praise the Lord. Be mightily blessed, family. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for this word. We give you all the glory, all the praise and the honor. Right now, I'm speaking peace calmness and comfort and victory to the hearts and minds of your people my brothers and, and my sisters in christ i'm praying oh lord that you will just come through mightily the same way that you came through for the people of israel lord come through because we are your israel oh god we are your children lord thank you for victory by the blood of jesus anyone going through any challenge or trial in this hour lord i thank you for victory in christ by the blood of jesus christ in jesus mighty holy name i speak over your month of july it is going to be filled with rest restoration and harvest peace and joy in jesus name be blessed